the absolute maximum amount of space on my virtual machine, um, the answer is I don't. I can instead declare this to be a dynamically expanding um, hard disk, in which case it will only use as much space as I've used, sectors or, or blocks on the, the hard drive. And as I access uh, an unused block, it goes, oh, I've got to get some space for that, and it adds it to the file. Um, as a result of that extra overhead, disk access to that virtual disk is slightly slower. Um, to be honest, I haven't really noticed that big a difference. So I tend to use it dynamically to save disk space, because as you can see, I've got huge numbers of virtual machines. And so I you know, don't want to do the more they gig. Um, just practical um, information for playing with this. 8 gigs is the default for most operating systems for the size of the, um, the drive. And it's a workable size for most of this kind of normal software testing and development use. Um, you could go smaller without any real trouble as long as you're not adding huge things to it. Um, in practice, a lot of them are only actually two and a half to five gigs. Um, so if you're really short on disk space, you could probably try setting it you know, up to four gig or something, limit on your file sizes and see what happens.